about this wacky worm thing. I ain't a fan. They catch fish. A Senko rigged up wacky worm style is the most natural looking thing on the planet and I've I haven't fished enough. That's probably the real issue. But what I've seen of it, for me, it's just been a dink bait, catching a little bass. Um, so I'm fixing to go to this pond this evening, and I'm just taking one rod and reel. I'm taking a couple bags of Senko style baits and a couple three hooks. That's all I'm going to take because that's what I'm going to do. Ain't a fan. We'll see. DW Verts, Hick Billy Outdoors. We're going to go wacky rigging. Because I'm a stud wacky rigger. It is hot. About 90 degrees and hardly any breeze at all. So, um, I thought I just brought one rod. I kind of lied. I brought my fly rod too. Here towards evening, I'm going to maybe see if I can get some brim on some popping bugs. Just change of pace. So I don't like this thing. Uh, I, I haven't fished enough to say that, but it's a small fish thing for me. And um, But over the years, way back, especially when I was just learning this, if I had... A technique I wasn't comfortable with. I don't remember who told me this. If I read it somewhere. I would just go with that one technique. That one bait. Until I had it figured out. I did that with several baits over the years. So I decided to put my money. Where my mouth is. And do that today. I've got the one rod. Casting rod. And a. Couple bags of. Senko style baits and a few hooks. There's a bite right there. There's one second cast. Falling. They seem to like it falling. I know it catches fish and I guess it catches big bass. It's just for me, I just need to spend more time with it figured out because that acts like it. That's not a bad fish. I know one thing, it's hard on the pocketbook for the worms you lose because you lose a lot of them. So, come here, girl. Well, there's the first one, second cast, so. I heard one that fell for it pretty quick. Did I mention how hot it is? Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. <laughs> so I know it's a good way to catch fish. I understand the principle's wonderful. Um. And what always gets me is arguably the best bass fisherman on the planet Earth ever, Rowan Martin, swears by this thing in all kinds of rigs. Swears by it. Now, I know he's great friends with, wow, that fish hit it hard. I know he's fished with good friends with Gary Yamamoto. I get that. But he throws this thing a lot. It must be something more to it. Man, that fish just smoked it. Two casts in a row. So what I want to do is I want to catch a good bass on it, five pounder. I've never caught one, two and a half, three pounds, probably the biggest. That's what I want to do. Here it is, last day of July, getting on towards evening, but it's 90 degrees out. Not exactly the best time to be looking for big bass. But this pond's got big bass in it. My two biggest bass ever, both over eight pounds, come out of this pond. There's one. They're obviously going to bite it. Man. Fish pulling hard. What's the deal? Hey, ain't no big bass. Nice one, but not a big one. This may be a short-lived trip. I don't know how many worms I got. That one cost me a worm too. Now, I know about that 
o-ring deal okay i know about that i didn't take time to figure out what is that okay thank you um i guess maybe it saves you a few worms i don't know well, there's two fish and four casts and two worms <laughs> this is either gonna be really good or really bad oh, it's a different worm here different shape i uh the worms I'm throwing right now are Doc Irv custom pours. Oh, Doc, don't do that no more. So I am using my fish formula, even though it don't work. I mean, it's scientifically proven that fish can't smell this old style fish formula because it's atomized wrong or whatever. Molecules are too big. I don't know, some, something. I'm going to keep using it. I'll support the companies and people that make it and, uh, Whatever. Well, kind of drift over here. I'll throw to this bank. It's a flat bank. And there's a bite. There's another fish. Well, they're obviously liking it. I mean, that's... Oh, that one come off. Did I get my worm back? Good, I got my worm back. How's that for some action? Do that again. They are liking on that initial fall for sure. Of course, there's only about a foot and a half of water over there. Thinking bulls got it figured out. I think they got it figured out. And I have not given this technique enough effort either. I get that because there's, look at that. Another, uh, just fish after fish. I know how I want to fish and I know how to catch the big bass and maybe I'm too stubborn which is why I just brought this today only so I can't be stubborn well, I got my worm back with that one and he took it right on down now any deeper I'd have a problem with that one well so far it's been just almost every cast there's another I missed that one I think that was a brim Sure tugged on it fast. Hope they bite that popping bug like that later. So since I don't really like this technique, I haven't had a lot of time to experiment and try different things with it. And if I start catching better bass on it regular, I would probably be more likely to use it. Of course, there again, it's all anybody threw, and I don't like throwing stuff other people throw either. I'm, I'm a big believer, and I don't have hardly any black and blue baits. Everybody throws black and blue. I have some black worms with blue flake that I like, but, I mean, I just don't... Everybody throws black and blue, so why should I? That makes some sense, don't it? I just went, like, three casts in a row without a bite. What's the deal with that? Come on. Run right at the boat. There we go. Wow. That fish act like it wants to be something. Oh, what I got here it almost acts like a big bass. Oh, crap! It don't head shake like a big bass, but it's sure pulling like a good one. I ain't, oh, wait, it come off. I never did see that fish. I don't have a clue. I just don't know how big a fish that was. Um, oops. I'm not using heavy tackle here, and I'm tangled up. Um, I'm using medium action rod. It's a Dobbin Sierra 682. That's a medium heavy. Um, medium, I mean. Use a straight 10 pound braid. No freaking leaders here. 
cast King Zephyr reel. So fairly light stuff. I never put a lot, couldn't put a lot of pressure on him. Man, he took me halfway across the pond though. Guess I'm never gonna know. <laughs> a little disappointing. I know one thing about this bait I figured out pretty quick is it, it would be a good bait to teach people how to fish, how to fish a plastic worm maybe. Because obviously they bite it, but they thump it. They don't hardly ever just tick it or pick it up or move it. I'm sure they will some. Except for the strike's initial fall, which is you got to learn how to catch those fish too. I like that bite. They haven't been a tricky bite on one. I mean, they, they get it hard, so that's a good thing. I can see this being a good way to teach somebody how to fish for bass or fish a worm. Just saw a brim go after a bug over here on top, so. And something just splashed behind me, so there's stuff going on. So this fish is just normal bass. Come up and advertise, show me what he had. That's what I want to see. Get back in here. Get here. Come here. Well, they're just dang near swallowing this thing. I don't get that either. That fish just trounced it. Man. Just freaking hit like a spinner bait. Made that fish mad somehow. Wow, fish didn't hit plastic worms that hard. Even, especially little bass. It's a little bit embarrassing after 46 years of bass fishing, I'm struggling with something everybody seems to find so easy. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I keep catching these fish, just almost gut hooking them. I'm going to take that, there's another one, I'm going to take that as a good sign because they're obviously liking enough for just inhaling it all the way down the first time. They're not jacking around, so there's something good about that. I don't happen very often. Boy, look at this fish. Swim towards me all slow and deliberate like he's important. Well, he just, he's hooked normal. I just tied on one of these power bait max synths I bought clearance a couple, three years ago. Because the fish will hold on to them like 85 times longer or something like that. Maybe it's 18 times longer. <laughs> Hooey. I like power bait though. I really, I always like power worms, so. I'm sure it's good bait. We'll see. 85 times longer. Or 45% more fish. Whatever. You know, if that thing catches me 45% more fish than I usually catch, I'm not going to have, I'm going to be wore out. 45%. Where do they come up with these kind of numbers? It's like 5% of the fishermen telling you that 75% are liars, no one at 12% don't even catch any fish. What? 45%. Wow. There's, well, it took two casts to catch that one. Took two casts to catch that one. Obviously a big old bass. Well, maybe not. I like my power baits. I really do. Come here, you slimy thing. Power worms have always been a good bait. I'm struggling to get the little ones in the boat. I know I'm looking right. It says you catch 45% more fish, but they're 25% smaller. That's a small bass I've caught there. So there's another one. That's a perfect sweep hook set. I, I couldn't do any better. 
I think that's a little bit bigger bass, so maybe. A little bit. I cannot set the hook any better than what I did on that fish as far as the hook set. I swept it into imperfect and I lost my high dollar worm, which was on clearance, so it doesn't break my heart. You know, almost every one of those fish that's hooked in a regular hook in the mouth, hooked on that left side. I mean, almost every one of them. Why does that happen? It happens a lot. 112.5% more bass than you've ever caught on one before. Another 45%. If you do what I tell you to do, use a max scent worm. Folks, I'm telling you, I can teach y'all stuff. I can learn you. I can't catch up with him. Oh my gosh. The two smallest bass of the trip of come on that max scent. We are into dink asauruses again, which has always been my problem with this bait. Of course, I said that about the gets at the, the tube too, and I've caught enough big bass on it. Yeah, that's a, they're getting smaller, y'all. Brim. Took off with it like a GTO, 1967. Where'd that come from? I'm getting hungry and thirsty and I'm not done fishing yet, so. <laughs> yes. Having fun though. Clouds covering that sun up, that adds even better fun. Like 112% plus 45% more fun. That fish up there about two foot of water. Not a big fish, my stretch of imagination. Oh, it's one of the big sunfish I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that. Didn't have to get the fly rod out for him. Look at that. There's a keeper. Look at that. That's gonna be fun, that fly rod, in a little bit. They probably won't bite, you watch. Well, you know what, y'all? That, that's enough that I think it's fun. Yeah, I'd like to, I had one bigger fish on, no doubt. I don't know what it was. Make one more cast here and I'm gonna go that fly rod because truthfully, I'm looking forward to catching some of them big old brim. This is fun, we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it serious. It's all for me, I'm not gonna teach anybody anything, but why do I struggle? with this wacky rigged Senko deal, probably because I don't do it enough. Kind of makes sense, don't it? So it's my BS rambling on. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see you next time. God bless.